Greetings, everyone. I am Xenonox, the one and only, and yours truly, the master of the universe. Here I am going to talk about some gunner gameplay here. The main thing I want to talk about the gameplay is the the position of the gunner and some mindsets that you should have when you play the class. The gun, the class itself is pretty simplistic, where it's mostly just aim and shoot. But luckily enough, the gunner class does have enough capability to carry his entire team by himself, which is rather popular, I suppose, on the counter version instead of the PC version. The PC version has been nerfed with the uh, jetpack recharge time, which is uh, really quite a quite quite a big disappointment. But it's unfortunate because the fact that the class does need some sort of a modification to put it into ba a balance, more balance, I suppose. But um, so I guess this this video might only apply to, in terms of the mobility part, maneuverability options might only apply to the 360 which is the counter version, but uh, certainly the mindset will be applied for both versions. So hopefully what I'm talking about here make, does make sense. A lot of times, a lot of people have decided that it is without a doubt that the gunner class only needs dual miniguns. And so that's your ultima ultimatum right there. Try to get dual miniguns. Anything else is a secondary choice. You have two great weapons. One is the minigun or dual miniguns depending on your passives. And the second is your motor. The main thing with the gunner is that you always want to make sure your guns is completely red before you even shoot. You do not want to shoot that gun when it's not red at all. Meaning that uh, when you shoot, it's going to be living hell for your enemies and not to give them time to react to it. Speed boost is always a must as you grab them. As you can see, that mobility with the gunner can easily let me go in and out of battle and let me choose battle just slimming with the assault. Of course, um, some battles you might you want to choose, and some battles might not be what you want to fight. Nonetheless, it's not much of a not much of a problem as long as you go ahead and grab speed boost. I don't really know how that will affect be affected with the jet, uh, the fly jet. But um, as for that, let's just forget about that. Let me just completely talk about it for the counter point of view. The the motor is a really f good weapon, and it shoots really fast. So essentially, you want to use that as your main as your the weapon that you use the most often, whether it be killing boss tours or even distant players, and then once you get into into view, then you want to pull out your minigun and start shooting. Now, the main thing with the minigun is that you only shoot when you have have your minigun on the enemy target, and that's when you shoot. With the gunner, he doesn't have a lot of escape options, so either you put all your health into combat, or you put all your health into escape. And it's either pretty much one or the other, because if you choose in between, then you're not going to end up alive, and it's not going to be pretty usually. And so, <laughs> it is highly suggested that you either just focus on completely fighting, or focus on completely escaping. As you can see, that gunner died instantly from my dual minigun, which is what I was talking about. When you shoot, you want to make sure your gun is completely fully revved. Oh, by the way, when you slam, you can also rev your gun during the slam animation. So a lot of times you actually want to slam while revving your gun. So the minute you're done slamming, you can just shoot and just shoot a full burst of lead into your face and hopefully, uh, well, they will just roll over and play dead. The main job of the gunner is to kill every goddamn mofo you see on the battlefield. There are times where your teammates will scream for help and that is why I went back there because my friend BR Hero certainly does require my assistance and then, well, I go there and then help him out. The main thing as a gunner is that you want to be able to kill every goddamn player you see on the battlefield because with, if they're dead, they can't really harm your teammates. And if they can't harm your teammates, then your teammates are safe and then they can do your job safely. While, um, while you ha do have to kill players, you also have to kill turrets. So usually if you ever do find yourself juicing, you have to have a, find a good balance of killing players and ju juicing um, turrets. Preferably a combination of both, uh, turrets being second secondary, and then of course turrets, um, you know, while the turrets does block the boss from going to, you know, their base, but the uh, players are definitely a first option, I mean first choice priority here, because after all, players are the one that will stop you from doing your job, and also the players will be there to stop you from killing their boss or their turrets. With that said, the gunner does have very terrible escapabilities and therefore juice is usually the option here. If you if it's become if it, if it becomes FUBAR, then of course juice is your choice. Basically it's the win button. 
and so always always have a juicing option. Slam, preferably just keep it at level 2 just because of the more frequency you can use it and the fact that uh, sometimes uh, the slam can be used to keep yourself from being run out and sometimes it's a good choice to um, well, flatjack assassins and whatnot. And the, the last choice is to avoid airstrikes, which I will probably explain later on. But in this video, in this uh, in this strategy video, you probably won't see much of it. As a gunner, you always want to have a lot of money in your funds, so you can always buy extra juice after you finish the initial juice, so you'll never be out without a juice. In other words, your cure streak can be built upon. And lastly, you can. Uh, destroy their players with ease and then of course destroy their tourists in ease with in a matter of seconds which is essential here as we will continue to see this video as I carry the entire weight of my team by myself as I pick up more speed boost and then I just kill every player I see I do not hesitate to juice because there is no shame in juicing as I am the one and, tr and only Xenonox and I will kill everything in my path to make sure that my team is completely out of harm's way the role you are playing as this class is the gunner class and your role is to kill people. You do what you do best, killing players, and you don't really focus on bots as much as you should. That is not to say that you shouldn't be killing bots. The two things you want to focus th throughout the entire game is either position yourself to kill players, which is you know using your minigun, or the second thing is shooting bots. Those are the only two things you should be really concerned about. In other words, I want every player to be gunner to be shooting at all times. Either that would be positioning themselves for a really crucial fast instant kill on players such as you can see here. The gunner is all about place placement. Placing yourself at the right place at the right time. It's kind of like playing tennis. You gotta have really good footwork. You gotta get to the right position to be able to do the same st hand strokes at all times. Here you can see I was able to finish the sniper and I did not wish to dwell on that idea because that will put myself more at risk because the bot are in the front lanes and then of course <laughs> the goal is to push the boss into their muddy ball which ultimately will help you win the game because then you actually attack the muddy ball the this game actually is just pretty much just me and BR Hero um, all of my teammates are either AFK or just completely incompetent so you can, so while I do my job super, super uh, do my job extremely well as you can see be killing them over and over and over buying juice uh, buying the annihilator whatnot I was still able, wasn't able to win and then of course I'm pick getting me getting a lot of speed pickups so I can fly across the universe at uh, <laughs> in a mere few seconds which is rather un uncommon to see a gunner be able to fly across the map and cause as much damage as possible while I have the mobility of the assault Players, the viewers do have to realize that the gunners, what it does best is taking out players and taking out uh, turrets. So, in other words, my ability to take out the money ball is not really that good. So, really, to be honest, that I really done my job to its fullest, but I'm missing, kind of missing that player to help me finish the money ball. It's true that I can just juice on the money ball and get myself uh, probably killed while damage the money ball to the extreme point, but that kind of puts myself at a disadvantage with my entire positioning of the map as well for one that uh, BR Heroes does ha well, does maintain his spot but he does fight it he would have to deal with the entire team of enemies whatever they may be and therefore it is probably preferred that I try to keep myself alive as you can see killing enemy pros you want to be as efficient as possible because well the reload time of your weapons are extremely long and well you don't want to be spending your time reloading half this game Remember players, it's all about efficiency. Aiming and shooting as little bullets as possible to kill your enemies is essentially what you want to do. That's the ultimatum of a perfect aiming gunner. Shooting any extra bullets will put yourself at a more dangerous situation because you will find yourself re reloading more frequently. But ultimately, you do want to be able to put your place yourself in a good position so you can just shoot very small bursts just like that and get them killed ASAP so you don't have to dwell on the idea of when should I find myself to reload? Most of the stuff here I'm talking about right now is mostly just an idea how to play the gunner class right now. As the next, this, 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 there's two games you will be you will be watching in this uh, in this video. So for for this first video, I'm just giving you a good general idea how to play your class, and hopefully um, you get a good idea in the second video, so you won't be completely lost. As you can see, when you juice. At the end of the use, you want to reload because the reload speed will be halved 
you know, time will be reduced by one fifty percent. So after you juice, you do want to reload quickly, whether or not you are killing a player, just to use that and uh, get the most out of your juice. So that's usually some ideas with the gunner class. It's mostly a point and shoot class, but it extremely requires a lot of skill to pl to place yourself at the correct spot at the right time to kill enemies. And then of course, you have to be really good with your motor as well, as you can s later on see the the f the great. The effectiveness of the motor is definitely without a doubt a great weapon to use and you should actually use that at all times because after all the minigun does take a long time to use and reload and the motor is definitely a good secondary weapon choice to for one, kill enemies, weaken enemies, or even kill bots and lastly these sort of turrets. So now we will have a second game for you so you, now you have a good idea what to expect and what kind of ideology we're going to talk about here. Now we're going to play another game where essentially I will be the only slaying class. Uh, all these two supports will probably not heal me, <laughs> and the assassin class will probably be pushing bots. Hopefully, I don't really quite remember what goes through this game, but hopefully, uh, as we go through around this gameplay, we will reminisce on that idea, and then hopefully, I can explain better. In this gameplay, we will see that the gunner class is being healed, and uh, overheal gunner is a happy gunner, and so what you see in the last game is a. I'm playing the gunner without being overheal, but now that the gunner is being overheal, what you can do is so much more. Example would be the support running away, I'm getting shot, but I don't care because I'm getting overheal. <laughs> and that also helps the support getting juice. Remember, in my other support videos where I talk about that you can do a lot with gold armor, but you can do so much more with overheal, and this is a good example of that. While I can do a lot by myself because I am the one and only yours truly, Xenox Master of the Universe, but being overheal allows me to play a lot more aggressively than I normally would have, which allows me to do a lot more damage and which allows me to win the game, essentially with with a uh, in a faster pace, which guarantees which is which is essentially what you want to do in a more of a competitive scene where you just want to win. Nothing else matters, just winning. <laughs> And uh, always, always go for the kill if you can, because as a gunner, like I said, once again, your job is to kill players and leave, don't give them any mercy at all. Be efficient with what you do and kill the crap out of them. And then, of course, get dual miniguns ASAP. As a gunner, you, 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 will, you will find yourself using your motor most of the time, because the fact that the motor can be reloaded so quickly, and the distance uh, with the motor shouldn't really matter, because after all, after all it is explosives. Here you can see I used the slime just to prevent myself from being flown too far away, just in case. And usually as a gunner, I you have two choices of using. One is be extremely aggressive with it, just using it and just try to turn as many things as you can ASAP. Because by the time you usually finish using that juice, you should have enough money to buy another juice, which is what you want to do. Always have a juice in reserve. <laughs> gunner without a juice is extremely dangerous, but thankfully I do have a support with me, healing me all at all times, so it is usually fine to have uh, to play the gunner without a juice. Hopefully that no play, no people will be juicing on you, but as a smart player, you should be keeping tabs on that anyway. A lot of juice can be built actually upon just picking up juice pickups off the ground while motoring as, any, as many things as you can. And um, you can do that. Um, you can also melee bots. I don't really want to say that the gunner class is reliant on juice, but certainly it makes his life so much easier <laughs> with juice. Hey, cool. Try to use the ejector at all times because that helps your boss push forward. Essentially making the the initial push that much easier. Try to kill as many players as you can, weaken them, kill them, whatever you gotta do. Remember, your class is to kill all the other team's pros to the best of your abilities. And then with that extra dosh, you can either buy annihilators, juice, or even build turrets, whatever you see fit. If your team is pushing forward, then of course buy juice. There's no reason why not. Juice is definitely the most effective thing you can buy as the gunner, opposed to buying turrets. Decimating their their base completely utterly without a doubt is definitely most more beneficial than building a level two rocketer in your base that's not gonna be used at all. Despite such, it doesn't probably doesn't hurt to upgrade a level 2 rocketer because you have so much money in your hands anyways, assuming that you are placing yourself at the correct place at the right time to be able to full cause maximum damage. 
never really stay idle with your weapons. Just spam your motor. It doesn't really hurt anyways. I mean, you never know what's you never know what's going to happen. As you can always see in the beginning of my match, I would just spam motors just to see what I can hit. And then depending on who I hit and uh, how fast their health is being regenerated by the support and how much damage I do, actually I can tell what class they are and what they can potentially do depending on uh, how the hit detection on what I have on them. Never hurts to make more money from the bullseye. Sometimes people will like just to melee bullseye and get juice, which is definitely okay because, like I said, a gunner without juice is actually rather dangerous because of his immobile um, ability. <laughs> he's just he's just rather. What I should say is that the cl the class is immobile, but he does have really good maneuverability, just thanks to his jetpack, and with um, with speed boost, his maneuverability is definitely a lot better. And you can actually do a lot, so much more with that speed boost. But his his uh, evasive attack maneuvers definitely isn't as best <laughs> as best it can be. Now you may be pondering why that why does Gunner have to juice so often? Isn't juice a bad thing? Well, remember that when you play football, you don't just sit there and be like, "Wow, you are such a loser! I can't believe you're trying to go for a touchdown and win for the game." What I'm trying to say is that when you play this game, you go. You go for the win, okay? You do whatever you t it takes to win. Buying juice is an, is part of the game, and you will buy juice to win the game because they're gonna turtle with a lot of freaking freaking goddamn <laughs> rocket turrets, and you can't really destroy them because the support is healing them. And even if you do put a lot of time and just like shoot motor, shoot motor, shoot motor, you know, it's gonna take a long time, and then eventually somebody's gonna interrupt you, and you're gonna start from step one. So instead of wasting your time with that, why don't you just buy a juice and just destroy everything in your path? <clears throat> a lot of times, if it's a gunner, you do want to place yourself on top of mass because that gives you a better chance to see an overview of the entire situation and it allows you to essentially to move, fly around better. Which is probably most, more or less the key of your survival. Assuming a large part of that also play against, uh, also play with uh, who you're playing against, such as a gun, other gunners, other snipers and whatnot. Obviously, playing against other snipers, being on top of the uh, glass glass shields, could put yourself in jeopardy and essentially get yourself killed from unwanted headshots. So that's why I say that it really depends on who you're playing against. If you're playing against assassins, of course, being on top of map definitely gives the huge advantage. And lastly, I would like to remind you once again that you always always want to rev your gun as you shoot. Another thing is to add that when you slam and use ejectors and knowledge and whatnot. You can still actually rev your gun and shoot at the same time. Um, actually, the ejectors and the knowledge you can actually shoot while you're using it and um, revving your gun. Slam, you can actually only rev your gun. But you know that those are all things that you should be aware of as you play this class because revving your gun is everything with this class. Because if your gun isn't revved, then you're pretty much doing terrible, terrible damage with your uh, mini guns, and uh, that's not what we want to see here. We want to see you kill people with efficiency. <clears throat> um, a lot of things it's really kind of difficult to explain because the class, like I said, itself is really more or less a point and shoot class. There's only so much tips I can give you as a as a really experienced player. The rest of it really comes down to yourself as how you use your overall skills as a player because that's really what it is. I mean. There's really no trick to the gunner other than just point and shoot, but how to you place yourself at the right spot. See, like, here is a good sample of me finding the support. <coughs> I have to keep a good distance against him so I can do maximum damage while avoiding his damage. But you can never let him get too close, or, no, or can you let him get too far because then you do, you do terrible damage. So that's one thing you have to that you want as a gunner, good spacing. The ability to keep your distance from them being efficient against you while you can be efficient against them. That is called utilizing your what you cl your class does best. You see what I'm saying? Example would be snipers keeping themselves across the map to snipe you, right? As a gunner, I can't really do much against the sniper, but the sniper can do if really well against me because his weapon, you know, you essentially let him do that. See, nobody really calls a sniper cheap, so why do people call me cheap if I try to utilize my spacing correctly and use juice and everything in my arsenal to best my opponents so I can ensure the guarantee of my win of this team? There's no shame in winning. There's only sore losers and sore losers. 
American only likes the winner, and if you're not a winner, then you're a loser. So, <laughs> you know, you gotta do whatever it takes to win. I understand a lot of people might be under pressure that kill the players nonstop may be like, maybe perhaps view upon uh, just trying to get a lot more kills to make yourself look good, but you gotta understand. What I'm doing is what I'm doing best, killing players and destroying tourists. Destroying the money ball isn't really what I do best. Juice supports, um, juice assassins, shurikens, juice assaults, and even just the assault throwing like a level 3 bomb on it does like 10% damage, so eventually, like after like what, one minute or less, the money ball will be destroyed. I will, without a doubt, shoot the money ball once in a while just to make sure it keeps keep the money ball down, but I will always, always focus on destroying tourists and killing players so my team can do the money ball damage work. Remember, do what you do best, not what you do terribly bad. Now, another thing I would like to add is that the, the deployed gunner actually does have his uses and is actually a really good skill, but the time to use it is really minimal and it's hard, difficult to explain. You gotta be extremely aware of your surroundings when you use it, meaning that snipers nearby, assassins nearby, what could be a potential threat and how fast I can get this guy killed before I have to undeploy. Slam, I prefer level 2 just for the fast recharge rate and uh, I usually use it, usually use it more to save myself from ring outs and whatnot and um, and then try to like uh, surprise the assassin as I land with my jetpack and I just like, suddenly slam at the end of it just to throw them off and level 3 grapple is useless so I wouldn't really suggest using that at all but hopefully this is just a small rundown with the gunner class and hopefully you get a good idea with what to do with the class because the class itself is kinda really let's just say strange but simplistic at the same time. Hopefully you learn something here and then uh, ask me any questions you have some.